What is up guys, Fado82 coming at you with some Rust building tips. Wanted to share with you guys a few tips that I've picked up along the way in my many hours of playing Rust, and some tips that have helped to increase the longevity of my bases and to enhance the security. The first method that I wanted to talk about is what's called honeycombing your base. So try to visualize a honeycomb. And what that essentially means for Rust is you're gonna be building layers of boxes around your base to enhance its security and to make it more difficult to raid. Now, all that really means you're gonna be doing is putting up walls, uh, for instance, like this, and then you're gonna go ahead and upgrade it to whatever material you have. And that has now added a box so that if somebody C4s through the outer wall, they're gonna come come into this inner box and be trapped in here. This method works all the more better now that third person mode has been removed because people can't sort of scout out your walls the way they used to be able to. And guys, when you're using the honeycomb method, you can put a bear trap down as I did over here, which will make it all the more annoying when somebody breaks through a wall and steps on one. Um, and another way to increase the security of the honeycomb is to put blocks inside of the walls. So what that's gonna do, and again, upgrade those as well, and then you can go ahead and place an outer wall on the outside of that, outside of those two blocks. That's going to add to the security of uh, the base because if they get through the wall, they're going to have two blocks to contend with, and that's quite a hassle. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll honeycomb this part here as well. We'll just put a wall there, and we will go ahead and upgrade that. So essentially, now the stuff that we have in here, just for example uh, is now protected by the honeycomb and guys this is what honeycombing looks like from a top-down perspective again it's layers of boxes that is protecting inner parts of your base so that would be protecting loot rooms protecting stairwells your cabinets anything of high value what honeycombing allows you to do beyond the added security measures that it gives you and the added protection is that it allows you to have a more predictable path of how raiders are going to access your base Typically, a raider is going to go for the path of least resistance, which are typically going to be doors. So when you're designing a base with the honeycomb method, think about the placement of your doors, and you can use that as a bit of a choke point. So if someone's raiding your base, you, you're going to better be able to predict where they're going to come in and where you can engage them, or at night where you might want to set up potential traps for them. So guys, I hope this was helpful in giving you the general concept of what honeycombing is. This is not a perfect honeycomb. It's not uh, uniform on all sides, but I think it shows off uh, nicely what the example is. Um, again, you can honeycomb in different ways. You can make them empty blocks like that, which are uh, still great for protection, or you can put the blocks inside of them, which help to fortify them and also put bear traps in there too. Uh, if you do all three methods together, it's going to create a very effective honeycomb base and uh, one that's going to be uh, quite difficult uh, for raiders. All right, guys, let's move on to another building tip another tip which is called the elevator building method in your base some of you are probably very familiar with it but what it essentially is is doing away with stairs at least on the first floor of your base and instead putting an item that you have to build up every time you want to get to your next floor it may sound like a hassle when you first hear of it but it really isn't and you can utilize the first building tier the twig material to be able to do it in a really effective way so the best way to do it is to keep a chest on your first floor, have a stockpile of wood in there. Wood's not hard to come by in the game, guys. And then when you want to get up to your second floor, just go ahead, open the door, and instead of having a stairwell, which which would lead up to there for raiders to get to your next level, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to build a block out of the twig material. Um, it's not resource intensive, and it breaks down very easily. So with a couple hatchet swings, you can go ahead and get rid of that at the end of the day when you want to log off Rust and know that your base is very secure. The elevators, guys, can be used to go up multiple floors. Um, this is just a one-floor example, but it could go up three, four, or even more floors if you wanted to even add to the security of your base. So the sky is really the limit with the elevator building method. It's highly effective, and I recommend using it in the current iteration of Rust. Um, it's one of the best ways to mitigate against raiders. All right, guys, let's move on to a couple other quick tips. And guys, the last building strategy that I wanted to talk about is a very basic one. I'm sure a lot of us already do it, but I notice a lot of newer players um, don't do this, and I see it being something that's essential to any base. And I call it the airlock method. So what it basically means is when you open up your front door, don't have it go right to a main room. Um, if somebody's going to chase you into your base, even if you die in here, no big deal. They're not going to be able to get anywhere. They're not going to know where to go. Um, 
and have multiple airlocks. So if you get into this area again, you know, you can fight, come back out and not have to worry about people getting into your main base, guys. I use multiple airlocks. I've used this since the day of legacy. Um, it's a really simple method. Um, it's very effective and it's something that you want to use in all your bases. You can do it from the most basic tier all the way up to this beautiful uh, armor tier. So guys, airlock the shit out of your bases. It's simple, uh, but very, very important. All right, guys, hope you enjoy these building tips. This is Fado82. Peace.